banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome to Classic Game Room for the review of Dead or Alive Extreme Be- Beach. Oh. Where is it? Oh, I know who took the game. Run out of sedatives. Hey, Brandon. Yeah, what's up? I think you have something that I'm looking for. What's, uh... Oh, look at that! Oh. I knew you had that copy! What? Where did I get this? Amazing how you keep ending up with this, Brandon. Which one's your favorite? Oh, um, I like them all. They're all my favorite. Now I have the packaging back so I can read that this is billed as the world's first sports fantasy simulation, featuring the voice of Dennis Rodman, who was in a Van Damme movie, by the way, and it was awful. And by the way, so is this game. If you can even call it that. This sports fantasy simulation is more like a fantasy bullshit simulator. Sure, you can play some volleyball or you can just sit back and admire the pretty virtual girls with their jumblies hanging out. He just keeps watching this on repeat over and over and over again. She's so playful and such <laughs> <laughs> Dead or Alive was once a respectable fighting game, and you know the group of boys working at Team Ninja can put out a perfectly good fighting game. Say what? Why they chose to waste their time on this is beyond me. It's silly and ridiculous, it has some volleyball, and yes, I get it, sex sells. Later, baby. I'm out of here, honey. But there's other places to get it, including real life, if you're not wasting your time on crap like this. If I'm a ninja, my girl's an assassin or something. She's secret. <laughs> the volleyball parts of the game are played with two buttons, and while they look great, I'd rather play real sports volleyball on Atari 2600. He's definitely not a beach volleyball player, that's for sure. Did you see that? Did you see that? I saw that. Where'd she hide a sword in that thing? For starters, Volleyball on Atari 2600 doesn't have this horrible music. Also, the objective was to win. The objective in this game is to buy skimpier and skimpier bathing suits. For your army of virtual girls, all of whom secretly hate each other. Now we're cooking. This is the remix. Oh, there we go. In addition to some terrible volleyball, we have some equally horrible mini-games like watch the pretty girl try not to drown in the piranha-infested waters. At the end of each game, they just stand there looking vapid and confused. It's so good they should make a sequel. <sighs> oh my god, this is terrible. At least nobody else has to know that I played this game. It's private. <laughs> You tap one button to receive the ball and pass it to your partner who then either hits it back at the opposing team or passes it back to you. It doesn't play terribly well. There's very little depth to the actual gameplay. Surprisingly, you can play one or two player. The real objective here is to collect a bunch of stuff and make friends with the other girls. You can give them presents and receive presents. You go back to your room at the end of each day and lounge by the pool in the evenings. Maybe you just want to hang around and stretch, or prepare for the zombie apocalypse with the submachine gun. I don't get it either, I'm also confused. Hey, we do have some early morning exercises here. Good to get the blood pumping, right? I'm preparing to fight zombies! But that would at least be interesting. As it is, this is just a lousy beach volleyball game with good graphics on the Xbox. 
And I have a classic game room shout out and thank you to send to Ben from Buffalo, New York. Once again, thank you, Ben. This is boring. Let's never play this again. What was that? Yes, my thoughts exactly. What is this? Stop goofing around with stupid beach volleyball games and get back to making some real fighting games. These girls don't want to be friends. They want to kill each other. So let them after some good stretching and a few drinks by the pool. Just ignore this game, please.